I believe in every one of you. I want you to back your ability today. We're going to play fast, we're going to play hard. And don't disrespect this jersey. Let's go! Oh, yeah. Have to be fast. Don't miss the jump on anything. Let's go. Here we are, gentlemen. Game one. Good money! It's horrible. They're letting us get to our four man. So let's get in the middle and let's play shape. Let's, let's go. Get in here. Let's go. You fall apart now. The rest of your season's gone. This carnival is going to go like that if you don't respect it enough. Here we are, gentlemen. Game one. Way we've got to treat this game is like the semi final. Everything we do in attack is to build pressure. That's all you've got to do. Your job. I'm not asking you to do anything other than what we've spoken about. I believe in every one of you. I want you to back your ability today. You're in a great opportunity to make your own history. Okay, let's go, we're going. Go, 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 We need to work our backsides off to get down that end and then we need to play our footy. Die, go again! Go again! There's been some really good efforts, but we're not putting our body on the line in defence. Boys, I just want to say congratulations. We didn't win, um, but just fought really hard. I thought a, a, a team other than ours would have threw the towel in. Hey, man. I, um, look, obviously, I just had the opportunity to watch your game, and the first thing I thought, I, I thought you showed a real resilience, a real toughness, and a real desire to want to uh, defend your errors out and defend for each other, and, and that's a starting point. It's a really good starting point. I've coached the conference, and it's a bloody tough carnival to to try and win. I've played a confraternity as well. It's a bloody tough carnival to try and win. We've got to try and go a long way. And what makes it tough is you don't know the opposition, you don't know what they're going to do. You're playing a couple of games every day, so you've got to get over a bit of soreness and get up and get yourself going again and play with energy and, and play with that desire again. But you've got 20 minute halves to do that as well. That makes it really tough. So you've got to be disciplined. You've got to take your opportunities when they come. You know, what I learned and loved about Ignatius Park when we, we sort of started that program in 2001 was that they were all blokes who'd been at school together from year eight and come through those you know, grades together and a lot of those blokes played together at Brothers and Centrals. And so we didn't have you know, we didn't have the same number of uh, high profile players, we didn't have the same number of contracted players, but we had four players who wanted to play for the school and wanted to play for each other. So when we played against those big teams, we tended to beat them or compete with them on the back of that spirit, the back of that desire of what you want to do together. I guarantee that in 10 years' time, 20 years' time, you blokes will look back at this, this moment exactly the same. You remember it, you remember the fun you had, you remember the results you had, you remember how you played together, and how much you meant to each other when you're on the field together. How much do you want this? Well, we've got a bus trip to have a think about it. This want is going to determine your attitude in your warm-up. It's going to determine your attitude with the ball. It's going to determine your attitude in defence. You need to be the loudest in this group. You need to drive that. Best as you can, as hard as you can, and good luck. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're just doing way too much defense down that end.
week. I think there's been a lot of lessons learned for us. Um, I think we've, we've managed to come together as a group and, and really think about what our purpose is this year and where we want to get to and what we can get out of this experience. Um, I think coming together here and spending that time together as a group and being able to come together, form those relationships and, and focus on our culture and what we're about.